What's up everyone? This is Taiwan Hubbard with HU Hub and we're here to do a demonstration video for the HBS-10 Hydrogen Inhalation Unit. Uh, this unit is offered by HHO Bulgaria and, uh, and we're honored to have them send in the unit and uh, this unit has gone through all of our recommendation processes and evaluation and has passed all of our performance standards and is now on the website. And so we wanted to go ahead and do a demonstration video for you guys showing you how this unit operates uh, so you know how to use it when you, when you get your own. Alrighty, so with no further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. Alright, so before we actually get into the demonstration, I want to give you some information about this product. Uh, this product is classified as a Brown's gas or oxyhydrogen system. Uh, and so that means it produces 66% H2, 33% O2. Um, and it is uh, a system that is not a PEM. It has no membrane, so that means it is that it comes with an electrolyte. So that also means that there are some safety precautions. And, and so uh, I just want that to be known on the outset. We actually measured this system, or I should say it's marketed at 450 milliliters per minute of H2O2 or oxyhydrogen. Um, and we measured this system um, at a total gas production of 400 and 445 milliliters per minute. Uh, and so it's pretty spot on um, based on our testing. Uh, and so that means it's going to provide about 300 milliliters per minute of pure H2 or of hydrogen gas, I should say pure H2. Uh, and so this is just some in basic information about the system. I thought I should probably go ahead and give you that before we actually talk um, about the demonstration because um, you're going to be like, what is this white stuff? So, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and start off. I think the first thing we need to do is go ahead and plug the system in. All right, so the system is plugged in, and you will know this because right here by the power button, you will see a red in indication light. So that means that there is power to the system. And the first thing we're going to do is actually fill up the bubbler. Now, this bubbler um, acts as a filter, um, and it filters the production gas. Um, it makes sure that any of the electrolyte um, is actually filtered out and remains in the bubbler. So it acts as a filter. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And this uh, bubbler uh, requires about 400 milliliters of distilled water. Uh, that is the only type of water that you would put in this system is distilled water. And so I'm going to go ahead and fill up 400 milliliters of distilled water. And we'll go ahead and pour that in to the system. And they actually provide a syringe uh, where you can syringe this in. Um, but I generally use that with refilling the bubbler or um, adding more water to the bubbler, like, like 150 milliliters is what they normally recommend when the bubbler starts to get a little low. And so you can add about another 150 milliliters of uh, water into that bubbler. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Alrighty. Okay, so we filled it up with 400 milliliters, and now we're going to put this back on. And these are supposed to be hand tighten. Uh, this is not supposed to be tightened down with a screwdriver or anything like that, a Phillips or anything. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is mix the electrolyte that goes into the cell. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix the electrolyte. Um, I went ahead and put on some gloves. Like I said, uh, just safety precautions. Uh, this electrolyte is potassium hydroxide. And so uh, we want to go ahead and be safe when we're handling any kind of um, caustic substance like this. Uh, most of these systems either come with uh, potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. And so uh, it's pretty standard and it's just best to be safe when you're handling this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with about 500 milliliters of water. All right. So we got to fill it with that and then we're going to add our electrol our electrolyte to the water and then we're going to stir it until it remains clear.
All right. So we're going to stir it. Stir it up until it remains clear. All right, so now that the electrolyte is dissolved into the water, let's go ahead and open the cell up and let's gingerly pour this electrolyte solution into the cell. So we've added our electrolyte solution to the cell. And so now the system is ready to turn on. So let's go ahead and turn the system on and go ahead and show you more about this, this, uh, this display and its functionality. Now let's go ahead and turn the system on and we'll go ahead and go through some of its functionality. The system is super easy to use. So the first thing you want to do um, as I have already noted that there is a red indication light that lets you know that there's power to the system. So the first thing you want to do is turn the system on by pushing the power button and you will get a uh, blue indication light that uh, it's turned on. And the next thing you want to go ahead and do is push this on button here. This will start the hydrogen production and it'll start the hydrogen production. And so that is literally it. Um, other than that, um, if you want to pause your inhalation session, you'll push this button once. And now you've paused it, and it's going to blink back and forth. Um, the next thing you want to do, if you want to go ahead and start it back up again, is push the button again. And so now the system's producing um, hydrogen for inhalation purposes right now. Uh, and then you, uh, if you want to switch the the session time um, duration time I should say you should go ahead and you can hold this button down for three seconds and now uh, you can switch its session time by holding it down for an additional one to two seconds or whatever and it allow you to switch between 20 minutes 30 minutes and 45 minutes um, and then if you're done you just push the button again and you um, can go ahead and start breathing hydrogen gas so now I bet you are wondering well I've seen the display I've seen the unit but where do I actually hook up my cannula so let me go ahead and show you that now all right so this is the back side of the system you will see uh, your power cord and then this is your um, hydrogen port, uh, your oxyhydrogen port. And this is where you will connect your nasal cannula. Uh, and so you go ahead, I got my, I have a nasal cannula right here. And it's just as simple as pushing it onto the port. And there you go. Uh, that is as simple as it is to attach your nasal cannula and begin to breathe hydrogen gas with this system. I'm um, we'll gonna go ahead and turn the device around. Turn the device around, uh, and now you guys got um, a full display of the actual gas production um, that's going on, and it's set for a 45-minute session. I think the next thing I'll go ahead and show you really quickly is how you attach the pitcher. To this system okay so now I'm going to show you how to connect the, uh, the jug to the system um, your hydrogen bubbling jug uh, now I went ahead and filled it up with some water um, these uh, this pitcher works um, similar to a Brita pitcher uh, you would take your filter here and you would take the lid off we're going to do that and then you would place your filter into its 
pour into this little section and pour your water over top of this and then it will filter it um, down to the bottom uh, and then you will put your lid back on and once it's fully filtered now you can go ahead and begin bubbling um, hydrogen into the water so um, I'll go ahead and show you how to connect it now this comes with the specialized quick connect port it has a little has a little uh, lever right here that goes up and down and so what you will do is you just clip it right onto this port just push it on and it's going to begin bubbling and so you should be able to see it bubbling make sure I move these things out of the way for you guys so now it's bubbling uh, the water uh, with hydrogen gas uh, and now you can do this for about 15 20 minutes uh, and it's going to saturate this water to approximately about one uh, milligrams per liter or ppm uh, that is uh, uh, basically where most oxyhydrogen systems uh, saturate water uh, with hydrogen gases to approximately about one milligram per liter that's the saturation point uh, for oxyhydrogen gas and that's it that's as easy as that now to disconnect this all you have to do um, like I just showed you was that quick little pull it down and then it pops right off so this this uh, little mechanism to pull this down this quick connect mechanism you just pop it on and to disconnect it you just pull this back and it pops right off it's that easy um, it's a pretty cool little setup uh, it's very easy to bubble uh, water uh, with hydrogen with this system alrighty so let me go ahead and give you my uh, closing statements uh, for this demo video alright everyone I hope you guys enjoyed our demonstration video and that it puts you guys on the fast track to being able to use this device at home I wanted to give you some additional information of how you can actually get this device through HU Hub's recommendation and get an awesome deal for it this device retails for 2124 uh, USD and uh, through HU Hub, you can get a discount of $425 off. Uh, and so that's going to make this device $1699, uh, which is awesome uh, for a system like this. Um, these, these, these brown gas units like this can range anywhere from, uh, like I said, $1,500 all the way up to $10,000 for um, oxyhydrogen systems. And so being able to get this uh, device. Uh, um, for sixteen hundred, or I should say seventeen hundred dollars, um, is a great deal uh, to get four hundred twenty-five dollars off for this system. Uh, I, like I said, uh, it's very easy to use, and to actually get it, uh, there's going to be a link in in the description to our recommendation page for this um, product. It's going to have more information there for you. It's going to have our test report uh, to give you more information about where we tested this system's gas production. Um, at and um, and just give you some more evaluation notes uh, from our test report and then uh, lastly I would say uh, to actually purchase the system and once you go to our recommendation page um, and click on the visit uh, uh, the visit um, HHO Bulgaria store uh, the discount for this product is automatically going to be applied uh, to the cart so it makes it super easy uh, to be able to get it. There's we don't have to even put in no discount code. The discount code is automatically applied uh, to um, to actually purchase it, and they ship worldwide. Uh, they ship worldwide, and uh, the shipping for this device uh, is about one hundred and five dollars. And so uh, that's it. That's that. This is uh, the demonstration uh, video for the HBS ten uh, hydrogen inhalation unit. And uh, we'll catch you next time at the HUB.